So let, let me show you the other side of the CalPeats integration, right? If I go look at my timesheet and I've got all these categories down here that are my primer categories. As soon as you go into your county configuration in your timesheet categories, and let's take uh, restricted materials, ag permits. As soon as I map that to primer section 4A restricted materials, permits, ag permits, hours, over in CalPeats in my monthly data entry, that 4A restricted materials, permits, ag permits, hours disappears off of my manual entry screen. Oh, so you're not able to override that. You actually have to enter that in on the daily exactly. CalPeat screen. Right. And I have a new CalCat Cal entry only where that now shows up. And this is read only. This is data that's coming in from CalCats. Right, because once we start having them do their daily timesheets, we're not going to have them enter that information in on a monthly basis. They're going to be adding that in on a daily basis. Yep. Yep, and, and CalCats and CalPeats will exchange the information and compile it for you on a monthly basis.